House Chapel Week. I know all of the boys in Cauley House have been working really hard to prepare great readings, prayers, anthems, etc. for this week, um, all based around the theme of compassion. And I really hope that you enjoy our service, and I hope that you're able to take something away from the messages that will be shared with you. Okay, this is the prayer for Cauley House. Loving God, help us show compassion to others. You have taught us to forgive instead of seek revenge. When others are down, we want to lift them up and propel them forward towards success. When things are confusing, help us to clarify. When others are lost, help us to share your truth. Help us to treat others like you have treated us, for we are beyond far from perfect. You've shown us there is good all around, including places we have yet to see it. You have shown us to be selfless, mindful of others' situations. Please allow others to see we are one and the same, with the same goals and the same feelings. Evil can never be fought with evil. It must be fought with good. Show others that compassion will guide your actions to a more mindful tomorrow. Amen. This land upon which Appleby College is located is part of the treaty lands and territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. These lands on the shore of Lake Ontario are steeped in indigenous history. As we gather on these treaty lands upon which we learn, live, work, and play, we are in solidarity with our indigenous family to honor and respect the four directions, lands, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors who walked before us. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this traditional territory. The greatest degree of inner tranquility comes from the development of love and compassion. The more we care for the happiness of others, the greater our own sense of well-being becomes. Cultivating a close, warm-hearted feeling for others automatically puts the mind at ease. This helps remove whatever fears or insecurities we may have and gives us the strength to cope with any obstacles we may encounter. It is the ultimate source of success in life. As long as we live in this world, we are bound to encounter problems. If at such times we lose hope and become discouraged, we diminish our ability to face difficulties. If, on the other hand, we remember that it is not just ourselves, but everyone who has to undergo suffering, this more realistic perspective will boost our compassion and capacity to overcome troubles. Indeed, with this attitude, each new obstacle can be seen as yet another valuable opportunity to improve ourselves. So, we can gradually strive to become more compassionate. That is, we can develop both genuine sympathy for others' suffering and the will to help remove their pain. As a result, our own serenity and inner strength will increase. Ultimately, the reason why love and compassion bring the greatest happiness is simply that our nature cherishes them above all else. The need for love lies at the very foundation of human existence. So, we desire, since we desire the true happiness that is brought about by only a calm mind, and since peace of mind is brought about by a compassionate attitude, how can we develop this? Obviously, it is not enough for us to, to simply think about how nice compassion is. We need to make a concerted effort to develop, to develop it. We must use all the events of our daily life to transform our thoughts and behavior. Hey Abdullah, what did you get on the World Religions test? I didn't do it too well, to be honest. I tried my best though. Someone told me that you failed. Is that true? Who said that? I have my sources. Please, give me a break. Not today, man. Not today. Well, better luck next time. I'm going to my room. I need to be alone. Ryan, I heard Abdullah had a tough day. Wanna go see him? Wanna see him about to play some football? Yeah, good idea. I'm sure he could use the support. Hey Abdullah, how's it going? Eh, it's going okay. I didn't have the best day, to be honest. That's too bad. Is there anything we can do to help? Not really. I appreciate the support, though. It is an awesome feeling to have people who will support you when you're down. Thanks, guys. Abdullah, I want you to know that Ryan and I are always here for you. Yeah, Abdullah, we're always here for you, especially when the going gets tough. Hey, guys, are you serious to talk to this guy who just failed his test? Please tell me that you haven't told anyone. Of course I have. Why would you say that to me, okay? That is so rude. How do you think Abdullah feels knowing that you've told other people? Thinking of others is a crucial aspect of being compassionate. Yeah, Dimitri. And call you to respect each other and help each other out during tough times. Show some compassion. It is important to be compassionate towards others. We need to show sympathy and support when others are suffering. Do your best to always be kind and help others. Wow, I never realized how important compassion really is. It is the base of all kindness. I'm so sorry, Abdullah. I won't let it happen again. Moving forward, I'm going to do my best to be more compassionate and think of others.
No worries, Dimitri. I'm glad we could use this as a learning experience. I say we all go play some football together. Yeah, let's go. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adiolo Lansanya. I'm a grade 12 student from College House. I'm very honored to stand here today and share my thoughts and value that's very important to me. I want to start by sharing a lesson I've kept with me from my childhood. I remember being back home in Nigeria and my favorite part of the days when I finished school early or had something official to do was going to my dad's office. Of course, I loved this very much because it meant I got to sit in his office, watch TV, eat some food, and just be. I recall being in this setting once and someone walked into a meeting. The gist of, the, of this meeting was that someone had gone against the advice of the team in the past, but now needed a favor from my dad. I remember my dad immediately saying, no problem, we're a team and we'll get through this together. After the meeting, I jokingly said, Dad, why do you do this so easy? And he said to me, it costs nothing to be nice. It costs absolutely nothing to be nice. That response has stuck with me my entire life. That was pure compassion. Employing empathy in understanding how someone else feels, holding that feeling dearly, accepting it, and taking action without the expectation of a favor in return. One month and three weeks ago, I tested positive for COVID-19. At first, I felt like my whole life was over. It felt as if everything was falling apart around me. Funny enough, my main concern wasn't about contacting the virus. It was about how people around me would treat me. When I told my family of my concern, the first thing they told me was, whoever isn't there for you and acts differently towards you is not your friend and was never your friend. And that story goes beyond compassion. And that's a life lesson. Two weeks passed when I was back in school. Everything was normal. Well, almost everything. My friends were still my friends. Some people were wary of me, but that's completely normal. Sure, there were some jokes here and there amongst me and my friends, which I did kind of find funny. What really mattered the most was that my friends, family, and people that I truly cared about were there for me and treated me no differently. Being there for people at tough times and just generally being kind is what it means to have compassion. I joined Appleby as a new international boarder in September 2019. Like most other international students who came before me, they didn't know anyone and neither did I. The moment I stepped into Appleby, I felt this welcoming presence that I did not expect. Being honest, my first few weeks at Appleby were hard. Really hard, as is probably the case when you move into a new environment. They would have been even harder if I didn't have people around me helping me and genuinely investing in my Appleby experience. I came from a completely different education system. And once a few students saw me struggling with that, they helped me with no expectation of getting anything in return. I can't forget about the teachers. I can confidently say my first teachers at Appleby College are the best teachers I've ever had in my life. They have a genuine care for how I'm doing, and not just with schoolwork, but with life in general. My life outside of class was a top priority for them. They saw I was new and adapted to Appleby and chose to help me and be there without me even asking. That is true compassion. Being nice even when you don't have to. Being kind without expecting anything in return. That genuine concern was compassion. Different people view compassion in different ways. Some people's form of compassion is being there during their hard times and just being by your side. Some other people view compassion as just being nice to everyone. It might be a wave and a smile in the halls or just by asking how you are. Different people also need to be shown different types of compassion. For example, I respond best to people just being generally nice. And I've noticed that people respond better to that as well. I was really down during my whole experience with COVID. And I genuinely don't believe I would have made it through the experience the same without my family, friends, and the happy community constantly checking in on me. It's funny because I'm not sure I said this to my friends in person, 
and they will probably make fun of me for it. I'm not sure they know the effect their empathy had on me. But it gave me a lot of mental strength and fortitude I needed to get through the whole ordeal. I could focus on recovering without constantly thinking about how I would be treated when I go back to school, because I assure you that was all that was in my mind. Just like the person that walked into my dad's office looking for help that very day, simple acts of compassion and kindness went a long way for me. A much longer way than the people performing that act would probably ever know. If there's anything I want to implore anyone to do today, it's to show compassion in everyday life. Because first, it typically doesn't cost you anything. And second, you could be making a massive impact on someone's life. That concern for how your neighborhood feels and the intentional effort to help without a transactional expectation in return, this is what compassion means to me. I hope we can all continue to be compassionate in everything that we do. Thank you. This is a Sikh quote from the Guru Granth Sahib. It is told that you must be compassionate to all. In Sikhism, compassion is called Deya and is one of the most important qualities for a Sikh. What Deya teaches us is why it is important to be compassionate. It states that the only way one can feel pure is to give love to all. Compassion is important as it gives us the ability to understand someone else's situation and give us the desire to take action to improve their lives. Showing others compassion and having them feel happy will not only help build a meaningful relationship and a stronger friendship, but the joy of spreading compassion naturally brings out happiness and fulfillment in you. Please bow your head to the closing prayer. Loving God, we live in a world where we're so overcome with our problems that we forget our neighbor may be suffering too. Lord, fill us with compassion for all humankind. Help us to see them as you see do. Give us a heart to love them and see them through their trials. It's the only way to live. Lord, loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. In name we pray, we believe.